Welcome to Adtrain University's Show Me video series. In this video, I'll show you how to perform AP packet captures in VWLAN. VWLAN administrators can perform packet captures of specific access points to view traffic traveling to or from the AP. The captures can be performed on both wired and wireless interfaces. Packet captures of an AP's wired interface allows you to view traffic that passes through the AP's physical interface. This type of capture is useful when troubleshooting an associated wireless client's ability to reach network resources. Wired packet captures can be performed without affecting associated wireless clients. When preparing for a packet capture, determine the AP and the radio that the client is trying to associate to. This is the AP that you want to troubleshoot. The Status Clients menu is your go-to menu for client troubleshooting. We have this one client complaining that they cannot get any web pages on the internet. No other clients are reporting any problems. We see here that the client did associate and they received an IP address. And we also see that the client is associated to BSAP 2030 on the 2.4 GHz radio. Now that we have the info, let's go to the Administration tab, AP Traffic Capture, we're troubleshooting the BSAP 2030. We're performing a wired capture of the 2.4 GHz radio and the Corp 2030 SSID. We'll leave the rest default for this example and then click Start Capture. I'm going to wait for the capture to start. When you see the word Stop, that means it's capturing. I've asked a client to access Yahoo.com and I'll click Stop once they're done. Depending on the amount of traffic, it may take some time for VWLAN to actually save the file. It's best to pre-plan your test so that the capture files are as small as possible. Once the status changes to capture completed successfully, you can download the PCAP file and open with a protocol analyzer such as Wireshark. PCAP files are already associated with Wireshark on my computer, so when I click the PCAP capture file, it automatically opens in Wireshark. Our hunch is there are DNS issues, so I'm typing in DNS in the filter field to look for the client's DNS request. Oh, and here's our problem. They should be going to 8.8.8.8 for a DNS request, and we see that they've got a typo here. You can also see that other clients have the correct DNS server. Here's a DNS query for Google.com, and here is a DNS query response. If you no longer need the PCAP file, just go ahead and delete it. Packet captures of an AP's wireless interface allows you to view all wireless traffic of the selected radio and channel. Wireless packet captures place the AP in a sensor mode while it's capturing. No clients can associate the AP while it's in the sensor mode and the AP will return to the normal mode when the capture is complete. When preparing for wireless packet captures, determine which AP, radio, and channel the client is trying to associate to. This is the AP that you want to troubleshoot. So capture wireless traffic from a nearby AP. For this capture example, we'll start at the status access point menu. We have a client with an older Dell computer who says they don't see the Corp 2020 SSID. They can see non-BlueSocket SSIDs though. Other clients can see and connect to the BlueSocket SSIDs. The AP most likely to be covering the area is the BSAP 2020. This is the AP that we'll be troubleshooting. The 2.4 GHz radio is on channel 11. The closest AP to the one we are troubleshooting is the BSAP 2030. We'll capture from this AP. Now that we have the info, let's go to the Administration tab, AP Traffic Capture. The nearby AP that we're capturing from is the BSAP 2030. We're performing a wireless packet capture of the 2.4 GHz radio, and the BSAP 2020 is on channel 11. If you have a busy wireless network, the capture can grow really large pretty quick. For this capture, I want beacons and probes, but I don't need control frames. So I'll filter out the control frames. If you know the MAC address, you may want to enter it here. Pre-plan your test so that the capture files are as small as possible. 
I'm going to click Start Capture and then ask the client to refresh their wireless network list. I'll stop the capture once they do. Again, it may take some time for the capture file to be saved by VWLAN. Once completed, I can click to open with a protocol analyzer like Wireshark. The client was able to get me their MAC address, so I'm going to filter on it. I'm going to enter the Wireless LAN's destination address using the filter WLAN.DA equal equal the MAC address of the client or WLAN.SA for source address equal equal the MAC address of the client. We can see that there is a probe request from the client. Click the plus to open up the IEEE 802.11 Wireless LAN Management Frame and then click the plus for the tag parameters. You can see the client's supported rates are 1, 2, 5.5, and 11 megabits per second. Let's open a probe response from the Corp 2020 SSID and look at the same parameters of the 802.11 wireless management frame. You can see that the lowest supported rate is 12 megabits per second. Today, it has become a common practice to disable 802.11b data rates on a wireless network. This improves the overall efficiency of the network. If this is a single client that cannot connect, at a minimum, they could purchase a $10 USB network adapter that supports A to 211 n or for a few more dollars, a USB adapter that supports A to 211 ac That was AP Packet Captures with a couple examples. Additional resources can be found in the AdTrans support community. Thanks for watching the Adtran University Show Me video series.